today on Be Something Wonderful. Do this to manifest any specific person or anything else you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video today. This really relates to a short video, an independent short video that we released yesterday around noontime. By later afternoon, we're receiving all kinds of emails from subscribers and others who have watched it talking about immediate movement. But there's one in particular, an email that I received last night that this video is about, and it's powerful. The, so this individual short video yesterday was do this to manifest any specific person you want. And what is that? What, what did I talk about? Be, forget about the others, forget about the world, forget about everybody else and, and focus on you. It's about you. That's what I talked about in that video. It's about you. I quoted that, that um, television series, Loki. It's not, a, it's not about when, where, or why, it's about who. And that who is you. And so we, be, we began receiving emails and comments almost immediately. And then one last night, this one really, um, really uh, caught my attention. Oh my God, I just have tears of joy and gratitude. And so within two hours of embodying this message, in other words, she's been imagining and assuming and all that, this, right? Imagining uh, her SP and her together. But it, but it was from this idea that it's me and then my SP, me in the world, right? This idea of separation from that desire, right? In, in other words, it's okay to have a scene of, of somebody else, but it's about you. It's not about him or her or them or the world or the money or the house. It's about you. Who are you being? So, she, so, so within two hours of writing this mess, message, contemplating her and her SP together, she heard from him, right? I, it, and he said this, I made a lot of mistakes, but, I, but I'm better now. They were, now they're seeing each other Friday. We're going to get an update from her, right? Seven months of ups and downs of, of mostly no contact, some contact, but hot and cold and then nothing. And now they're together. She goes, it, 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 it was a long email, but she was in tears because she, she got it that it's really her. She's the center of all of it. It was never about him. She's happy that they're going to get together, but she's more happy that she's found her power. Right? She didn't realize that she was making it about others, making it about her family, making it about the, the, uh, the job or the money, everything else that she wants and desires. She gets it now that it centers around her. It centers around you. Focus on you. Whatever that scene is, make it about you, not them, not the world. It's okay to have others in it but it's about you. So we're going to cover this idea today and more. This short video has taken off. It looks like you love it. Great. We're going to have more of those. Remember, God creates by contemplating his own I amness. Ernest Holmes, I've mentioned this, the science of mind. I've mentioned this a few times. That's why we're talking about it's about you. It's about your own I amness, whatever you want whether it's money, a house, a raise, a job, more attention, more affection, whatever it is, it's all about you. You've got to give it to yourself. You've got to contemplate that within yourself. You, it's not about holding thoughts or holding imaginal scenes. Do you see, this is, this is a discussion I got into a, with a client um, early evening. We had a session who watched that short. It's not about holding on to that imaginal scene. It's about resting in the knowing, the truth, that whatever you imagine, that's, that image is now part of that divine mind of all that you are. That's a reality. It's higher thought and conviction as source, right? It's, it's moving from the, from the vantage point of me to the, to the vantage point of I. I am that reality, right? Manifesting anything or anyone, a specific person, is about recognizing yourself as the conscious center in the divine mind. You, that I, that I is you, you, I am, that divine mind. 
but, but you're one with all that is at the same time. So, so yes, you're a conscious center of that mind. You're consciously imagining it, assuming it, right? Announcing it, affirming it. But at the same time, you're one with it. There's no separation. You're, all that is, is you. So as you imagine it, that must be the reality. It's not about influencing out there or them. It's you becoming it. This is powerful today. So Jesus expressed this paradoxical truth with John 14, 28 and 10, 30. My father is greater than I, implying greater than I am, greater than I am conscious of, right? Because remember, you exist in all realities, but, but when you consciously create, you're, you're, you're viewing a viewpoint or a vantage point of all that you are. But he's, Jesus says here, but I and my Father are one. At the same time, you're one with the Father. You're a divine center. And that power is greater than you because it's greater than anything you could ever be awareness, aware of as the Son of Man in your physical experience, right? There's no effort. There's no struggle. This is, this is really what we got to, right? With this one that wrote me last night, I believe this is really what she experienced, that there was no more effort. There was no more struggling, right? You, can't, you, you don't have to struggle to be who you are, but when you make it an effort and struggle, well, now you're creating that experience within that divine mind. Everything is made or comes into being out of that which you are conscious and aware of being. Do you see it? Everything that is made or come, so that whole relationship and everything else you want comes out of what you're conscious and aware of being. Who and what you're conscious of being is how, what things are made of, is where they come from. They don't come from out there, but when we try to hold on to the thought or try to hold on to the image and won't let that go, have it and then release it within the divine mind. You're one with the mind, you can't lose it. You don't have to consciously hold on to anything. It's there. You are one with that mind, right? Let go of that effort. You're one with that great I am or source of all that is. So imagining, assuming, and affirming you, that you are your desired identity and occupying your desired reality is about self-recognition. It's about self-realization of that which you already are. It's all self-contemplation. It's all self-recognition putting that awareness in. So, so make that imaginal scene, that assumption about you. It doesn't matter if it includes others, of course, but it, it's about you. It's about you being that person for whom and through whom that reality is real. It doesn't matter what the scene is. It matters, it matters what it implies, right? What that assumption, what that affirmation implies. There's no cause or source outside of you there's nothing apart from your own I amness. In other words, nothing can come before or after that which is. God, that self-existing source and only cause. That's the only source. So when you struggle or try to make something happen or imagine or hold on to a thought or assume or, 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 or make an assumption or an affirmation, well, then you're going against your, own, your very own nature because all realities are within you. It's self-existing already within you. That's God, that self-aware being, that self-aware intelligence, that self-existing source. There's no other co cause or source outside of that. That means there's no other cause or source outside of you as the Son of God, right? You are an individualized aspect and center of the great I am, this great isness of reality, right? This great existence that we call God or life or love. You are one with all power, all knowing and all existence. So when you make it about you, you're no longer trying to hold on to a thought or an imaginal scene or an assumption or affirmation. You become it and are it. It doesn't matter who else is in it, but it becomes about you. Now you are it. That's who you are. That's why she was crying, this particular person that sent us the email, she said she was crying, and feeling so much emotion or source energy because she became that reality. She became that person versus the me trying to become it, the me trying to manifest it, the me trying to experience it, the me trying to attract it. She became the I that is it. And then imagine from that, that 
reality, from that truth. That's powerful. There's no out there out there means there's no source of source. God's it and you're one with it. There's no other source. It's about who and the who is you. It's not about influencing others. There are no others. Yes, there are points of consciousness and reflections of, of, from within you and they, they are real. It's a real experience, but it's all coming from you. You're not influencing anything out there. You're not sending thought. There's no one to send it to. It's all one mind. We're all part of that one mind. It's all that is, right? That creates that me and them, right? It's not thinking of someone or something. You are that someone or something. That's why Neville Goddard said it's thinking from and not of. Because if you're thinking of someone or something, then you are, then, then you believe you're separate from it, right? You are not that something or something. You are that someone or something, right? It's not about changing 3D conditions. You are the conditions. They're not outside of you. You create all of those. That's what Jesus, your I am awareness of being meant when he said, I'm the alpha and the omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the first and last. Meaning there's nothing outside of my awareness of it. And I become it. Whether I'm imagining it, affirming it, or assuming it, it's not outside of me. That's what Jesus meant. So when, where, why, who, it's about who, and that who is you. It's not about the people. It's not about the conditions. It's not about the circumstances. That's why in that short video, I said the most powerful thing you can do to manifest any specific person is make it about you. It's about you. The who is about you. It's not them, right? It's not the people. It's not the conditions. It's not the circumstances. It's not the th third parties. Or some of you are mentioning, what about bills? What do I do about if I get a bill? How do I see that differently? That's why you don't see it differently. Because you keep looking at it, saying, how do I, asking how, how do I see it differently? You're going to look at that bill and say, I know if I'm receiving that bill, everything is unfolding perfectly. That even as I pay it, or even as I, I, I can't pay it, whatever the situation is, it must be working out. See that greater reality of abundance and fulfillment there. It's your attention to the bills, the third parties, the health conditions, the unwanted condition and behaviors that puts them there. Your belief that there's somehow to be able to deal with them or cope with them or make them go away. You are it. There's, it's only about who and that who is you, being that person you want, no matter what the appearances are showing you. It's not about ignoring the appearances, not about hiding from them. It's about declaring and knowing that they don't have any power or authority over you. You are the power and authority. It's denying, denying them power and authority. It, you can see them. You can notice them. You're going to even have a, have a script to play out where you're, where, you're, where you're in those conditions, right? Well, you would say, you would, you would word it like I'm dealing with those conditions. But remember, deal it from that higher knowing that everything is working out for me, even as I walk in these conditions. It's not about, give me an example. It's not about examples and evidence. You are the evidence. You are the examples. You can't keep looking at something and then, and, and saying, how do I, how do I see this horrible condition differently? Well, you can't because you're calling it a horrible condition. You're, you're, you're putting it there as you're staring at it and saying, I don't know how to get rid of this. Instead, know that behind that condition, it's already changing as you see that fulfillment, right? It's not about changing appearances. It's not about changing thoughts. Stop asking how and ask, who am I? That's why Jesus asked his disciples or his apostles, who do they say the Son of Man is? Who do you say I am, right? It's who am I? It's about you. There are no... 3D conditions in your face. It's you. You're the one. You're in your own face. <laughs> They're not in your face. That idea keeps putting them there. Something to deal with. Something to cope with. Know that conditions are changing. We got to really emphasize this, that it's you. That's why it changed so quickly for this subscriber that sent an email last night and the others that are feeling movement. 
Stop asking how do I look at reality and, and look as reality. Keep asking, well, Tom, how do I look at that bill? How do I look at that third party or that Instagram post or, or the reality of my, my skin condition or my health condition? Well, how do I look at that? Stop trying to figure out how to look at that reality and look as reality. In other words, look from the fulfillment that everything is working out, that you have created that image of your ideal within. You have created that assumption of who you are. And that must be fulfilled in 3D. That, in other words, it must manifest as a physical experience because you're fulfilled within. You've created it within. There, there is no out there, so it must reflect what's going on within you. But as you keep wondering how you figure out how to look at reality, you keep creating that reality you're looking at. Instead, look as the reality that you want to be. It's about you, right? So that's powerful today. When you say, when we say, <laughs> when you say, when we say it's all about you, we mean it's all about I. The power and wisdom of God, as Neville Goddard called it. The great isness of reality, the absolute, the all, the all-knowing, the all-power, the one divine mind. That is the I of reality. It's the great I am. And within it, you are, you are in a center, in a, a conscious aware, awareness center of that great I am. Your awareness of being at the center of this one mind where all power and knowing works through you and as you. That's what we're talking about. What God contemplates, God becomes. There is no other. So therefore, what you contemplate, you become or you are. That's the great I am, that self-aware intelligence that we call God, right? Therefore, as the son of God, what you contemplate, you become. You are that center. You are one with all of it. That's what we're talking about today. When you make your imagining, assuming, affirming about others and the world, out there, you create the experience of being separate from what you want. This is what we're talking about. It's me and them. It's me in the world. It's me and I can't pay my bills. It's me and I'm lonely. I don't have love. It's me and my health is failing. Do you see it? You're, cre you're creating all of these conditions outside of yourself, right? It's all, remember, it, it's all, you're saying it's all greater than me. So I have to attract it, I have to get it, I have to manifest it, I have to delete it, I have to change it, I have to fix it, I have to get rid of it, I have to, I have to manifest it. Whatever it is, you're putting it separate from yourself. It's not, remember the message from scripture wasn't the father's greater than me. It wasn't that then as a preposition, right? And me, then me. It wasn't that at all, it was my father's greater than I implying I am as a preposite, as a, as a conjunction, connecting two complete thoughts. My father is greater and then I am, that I'm consciously aware of as the son of God or as the son of man having this physical experience or as the son of God having the physical experience as the son of man. But I and the father are one. I as the son of God and the father are one. It's not about me, right? It's about you. <laughs> That I, right? That's what creates that. So every time you say, well, how do, I, what, how do I deal with this? Or how do I deal with that? What if, it's a, what if it's a lot of bills? What if I don't have any money? What if there's a three, uh, three third parties or four third parties? What, what, what do I do? What if my health is right in my face? What if it's a skin condition? I look at it every morning. That continues to perpetuate that me and them, right? integrate that within you and know that it changes as you change within. Those conditions do not have a will of their own. 3D reality does not have free will. It doesn't exist outside of you. You are the will of reality, of your experience of reality. There is nothing out there that the people, places, and things that you're experiencing do not have, in other words, in your world, in your reality, free will of their own. They have free will as point, people have free will as points of consciousness. But in your world, you're seeing the version of them that matches, that corresponds, that, that resonates with the version that you're being. It's all about you. It's not a, they, it, you know, some of you ask, well, what about free will of someone when they don't want to be with me? Well, it's that version 
that doesn't want to be with you because you're putting that version there. So the, the version that wants to be with you is the version that you're going to be knowing that, that I am love. Everyone wants to be with me. That, that person does love me. I know who I am. That's the version you'll see. But as you keep, as you keep lighting up that version of you that's not in, that doesn't have love, that is not with that person, that does not, doesn't have the money, that doesn't have good health, that doesn't have money, that, that, that doesn't have people that appreciate them or put them first, or whatever it is that you want to manifest that doesn't have the house, then you create that. You've got to be that version. That's why. So it's not about that. It's not, and remember, it's your, you have the free will to choose your reality, your, what you're aware of. And when you do, the people, events, and circumstances rearrange themselves around that identity, around you, who you're being. It's about your will to choose, not others, right? right? You create your, your um, version of events, your version of the people, events, and circumstances. And every other point of consciousness creates their version of the world in, pe in the people, events, and circumstances around them. But all of it is one mind, one being, all that is. None of it is separate. That's powerful today. So. So she, she was still imagining a scene and assuming and affirming they are together. This is the one that sent that email. But from the truth of I am reality, right? From that I am, cent I am the center of my reality, right? It's not about them. It's not about the third parties or the world or others or that, or even the bills or even the health conditions or even the, the, the house that you still don't have. It's not about that. It's about you. It's about I. It's about that. I am, right? That center of who you are. It's not me and them. And when you start imagining and affirming from that truth, that's when everything changes. That's why we're seeing so much movement with that short video yesterday. Do this to manifest any specific person or anything else that you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. For joining us on our Instagram and Twitter, at Tom Karen, our TikTok, at Be Something Wonderful, or anywhere on social media, either at Tom Karen or at Be Something Wonderful, you can find us. Also for being part of the membership channel. We released a powerful, 30 minutes, this video, really powerful, talking about creating your own reality, talking about the story of Noah's Ark and how that applies to it. Really powerful video. If you haven't checked it out, if you're a member, check it out. If, you, if you're not a member, there's a link below. Also, don't forget, we have a, a, our third live stream, our third live event on the membership channel to be broadcast this month on Saturday, March 30th, 2024 at 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to come to you live, Pacific Coast Standard Time, 9 a.m., from the studios here in Las Vegas, answering your questions and touching on topics and questions that you're sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. I'll also answer some questions on the chat as, we, as we're in the live stream. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.